Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live Learning. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at how we can create um, something like this. It's actually more like a topological problem. Um, if you recall my older posts, um, blog posts, I actually made something like this using the Alt P and Alt J combo. So basically, it's a, it's doing a poke and then it's turning it back from trees to quad. Uh, back then I was using this spacebar command and you kind of do it manually um, and you, you end up with this diagonal pattern. Um, Pablo Vasquez actually kind of doing it as well back then in 2014. Um, so it was mentioned by Campbell and then also by Jerry Perkins. So this is actually quite interesting. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make this using Sorcar, okay? So let's get started. File new general. And I'm using Blender 2.81. This is Sorcar latest. File save as. So let's just call this grid twirl. Although I, I like to call it like diagonal topology. So the idea is really to start with something like a grid. And from this grid, we're gonna do this uh, topology magic. So there are two ways. The one that Pablo Fasquez is talking about is simply using subdiv subdivide and then unsubdivide. So this is uh, the fastest method. So you subdivide this guy and then subdiv unsubdivide. In order to be able to see this, you actually want to draw the wireframe as well so set it to solid and then also turn on wireframe set preview and subdivide unsubdivide this one iterations set to one so you have this diagonal um, topology so that's cool right and in fact you can actually select and or actually the alternate Faces. One of these should actually allow you to select the face um, in in a way that you might need it. So that's that's what I was talking about. There's I I found that there might be a bug with this uh, selection stuff, but uh, for now we don't we don't really need to care about it. You can then use a transform and then set it to edit mode and then translate it maybe in the translate in the Z if that's what you want so yeah you probably want uh, this is probably what you want just to get you started so this is uh, interesting how about the one that I was showing you before um, that's actually when I'm actually instead of using grid I was actually using cylinder oh by the way I forgot to mention that instead of using subdivide and subdivide there's another method where you, you use poke and then you use quad. Poke and then triangulate back into quad. In the future, I, I want to do something with quad mesh, uh, with a dual mesh. But this is also another method. So if you have the read, you poke it and then quad it. You poke and then you quad. You're going to get exact exactly the same result. Um, yeah, so that's the diagonal pattern. So pole quadrant, which one you prefer? Maybe one of them is better than the other. However, let's take a look at cylinder and let's save this first file save. And with the cylinder, we want to perhaps subdivide. can subdivide the cylinder as many as we want this subdivide is actually pretty cool because you can actually do this smoothing and a fractal stuff so smoothness um, with the cylinder itself I like to turn off the this uh, cap and so if I'm not wrong we can just 
your smoothness so we have this kind of flower flower kind of design that's really interesting you can do it multiple times and you will have an interesting design so it's not this kind of uh, design that we are interested in we actually want to do this uh, subdivide and upset and subdivide so we have like diagonal pattern so there you go that's the diagonal pattern with a uh, this uh, fractal if you like actually don't worry about the fractal um, we can um, at this point use uh, something like inset maybe just inset the face so inset set the selection should be set to face but don't worry about that I guess so doing an inset will give you that although in what I'm really trying to show you I want to inset um, individually so so that after we do this we we can delete the inside the inside face there you go that's a uh, pretty interesting and uh, at the end we want to just close this using draw mode set to solid and wireframe okay if you want you can all also do like solidify and modifier inside sorcar and just solidify it so we have this pattern that i was showing it to you at the very beginning so i really like this kind of thing um so everything is like procedural these notes and stuff it's allowing you allowing you to this to do to make this kind of design very quickly this is also nice to be able to kind of know the trick how to do it manually and to be able to select every end um, edge string or edge loop so in a case like this let's say you want to duplicate this and then you, you select um, the top or the bottom part at this point it's a bit complicated you probably want to go back um, go back to here so at this point you can duplicate and then you go to go to edit mode select the face if you're doing it manually try doing it using nodes so you can cover that area or maybe you can like use something like a fill grid so grid fill so grid fill have also have these options simple blending and then you can offset it to find the offset that you like um, yeah and then you on top of that you can subdivide and unsubdivide set to iterations to one and you have this diagonal pattern uh, sort of working uh, sometimes you need to tweak it until you get it perfect smooth vertices so I'm smoothing the vertices which is it's not always looking nice but in this case seems to be working and then from here you can just use like wireframe modifier so you have like this kind of funky um, garbage bin right so yeah I think this can be better but you get the idea so this is the how you can use sorcar add-on and this uh, subdivide unsubdivide trick or poke and quadra quadrangulate to get to, to get this uh, diagonal pattern or topology of polygon face that's based on the grid all right so thanks again for tuning in um, and I'll see you next time thank you bye